morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking the scrap in. Last night we just managed to squish all of those steel girders together, put them in the back of the trailer. I didn't have to get the angle grinder out in the end, just managed to squish them. We've just got the sun going up this morning. The trailer's fully loaded, we've got to head down to Great Yarmouth to the scrap yard and then we'll weigh this load in and see how much it's worth. Fully loaded with steel girders and drinkers and all sorts of just scrap off the farm. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much it's worth. And, ooh, there's the sun just popping its head up this morning. We've also got, still got the moon out over there, which is lovely. I hope they've got a Greg's near the uh, scrap yard. <laughs> something to get for breakfast. I'm blooming starving this morning. <sighs> Sunglasses on today. Sun is in my eyes. So as I said yesterday, today's a big day because we're dropping this down at EMR and then picking up the low loader and then going to get the tractor, the 65. So uh, and then on Sunday. Now this upcoming Sunday we're going to a ploughing match at Cove High. A lot of you guys have asked, am I going to the East Anglian Country Game Fair? I don't know at the moment, I'll just have to see if, we, if I get time to go down there. Uh, it, it's nice to go nowadays to real country shows and country events which aren't too heavily commercialised or ruined by, uh, you know, um, a lot of, you know, stands and stalls and, you know, they're just commercialised events now which aren't as interesting as they used to be. A good show which is always worth going to is Hen and Steam Rally, but that's been cancelled this year. And they had steam engines, working demonstrations of threshing machines, everything. It's just brilliant. But the one to look out for, which is up and coming, which is going to be really good, is uh, the Newark Tractor Vintage Show. So that's going to be awesome. Um, you'll, I think we'll see everything there, all the classic tractors. Um, for everything. It's a bit like Agri Technica, but for classic tractors. <laughs> a great fishing port town. Oh, bloody hell, they've got loads of in here this time. Normally that's a lot lower, that farm. Right, we're just going to see the guy on the way bridge. Bloody hell, they've got some scrap. Yeah. So we can give an oh, after yes. when you come on though, right? Right? Then you can get right. back on so you can go straight forward. Yes, because obviously because you're loading that this morning. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Because he's loading, you won't be able to get power, so you see, so. Right, yeah, yeah, got you. Okay, oh, no, mate, no worries. Pull on the bridge, you can't see me, mate. All right, yeah. See you nice stuff, chat. So we just tipped our scrap, and I'm now going to go back onto the weigh bridge, find out how much that scrap weighed. I'd be interested to see how much it was. It's 1.46 tonnes, so I'll let you know how we got on when I get back to the yard. All right, so we're now back at home. I've taken the trailer off, as you can see behind me, and we are preparing now. It's just gone half eight when we're preparing. We're making good time, and we're preparing to go and pick up the tractor. And this here is uh, how much we got paid this morning. So we took in 1.46 tons of material, and we were paid 306 pounds at a rate of 210 pounds a ton. So the scrap price is pretty good down there this morning. Um, so yeah, we've we've done pretty well. Made 306 pounds for the farm, and uh, clears up that scrap. And the rest of the scrap, we've got some little bits and bobs. 
I'm just going to put into a box for now and we'll have a scrap storage box. All right, so this afternoon we went off to go and look at the Massey Ferguson 65, which I went to look at yesterday and bought, purchased, agreed a deal with the chap who was selling it. And I'm pleased to report that uh, today we went to go and look at a trailer, uh, a demo trailer. So we've got an Eiffel Williams trailer on demo to try out. And we also picked up the 65. So here she is, guys. It's a 1960s... Massey Ferguson 65. Uh, and I have to say, I thought this was a really good touch. 65 brochure, as well as all the V5 documents. And it's got some interesting uh, diagrams in there, which I'll have a read of tonight before my supper. I'll just have a look through that. But it's got some brilliant um, illustrations and it talks to you through how to sort of service it, maintain it, operate it, which is just absolutely fantastic. So. A nice touch. I'll have to get one of these books, if I can, for the 135. We were a bit worried that the back of the tractor would be too wide to go on the trailer, but it, it was fine. Um, just about went on. <laughs> the tyres on the back are set up quite wide at the moment. We need to bring them in a bit. Okay, so a slightly different machine to my 135. It's got a four-cylinder engine. I've just, I've just got it out here this evening just to listen to the engine running. Slow the rev a bit. See if we can hear that sounding while it's running. You have to leave a comment in the comment section if you think it sounds okay. I haven't seen any blue smoke or any oil. You know, going outside the outside the engine, it's you know leaking out. There is just a, a bit at the bottom there, a bit of smoke coming out. But I'm pretty sure that's a breather. Leave a comment if you know what it is. Uh, but for the most part, there wasn't any cracks in the engine. There wasn't any major damage, it, it seems to be fairly good, in fairly good nick, the gearbox is fairly tight, the brakes are sharp, just had a new set of brakes, the clutch is okay, there's a bit of rust on this mudguard here, and there's a bit of rust on this rim, but other than that, it's actually in pretty good condition, really good nick actually, which I can work and enjoy, looking at, you know, in the future one day, doing this one out as well as the 135, but for now, it's given me my weekend Classic track, the thrills, because the 135 is away at the moment. So, uh, and it's a lovely, you know, it's a nice pair to go with the 135 as well. So, um, yeah, I've really enjoyed today picking this up with my old man. We've had a great day. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll do some content on this tomorrow. We'll take it out and just see how it runs and what it's like. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon, over the moon. Um, so you have to let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the 65. Did you maybe have a 65 back in the day? Any family members or friends you knew with a 65? Anything like that, just drop a comment. Love to hear all your stories. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. We'll be going to the ploughing day this weekend on Sunday. Co-5 down near Southwold. So uh, go along to the lovely plough day down there. And uh, you'll, see, you'll see me out and about at the weekend. Maintain that positive mindset. Try to be positive. It's something I always try to promote on the channel in these uh, very challenging times at the moment. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.